Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into another pre-release pack from Guilds of Ravnica. So this is the Selesnya Guild today, so let's get stuck into it. And with me is Elspeth and Nissa to do the pack blessing duties. So that is how we get the good pulls on this channel now and then. And we shall see what they do today. Leave a note in the comments if Selesnya is your favourite guild or not, or if you have a different one. And we get a nice green and white spin down here. Very cool, I like how they do the colours of the guilds. Alright, so let's see here, that like so. And we'll pop this over here. And we'll do our pack blessings. So, Elspeth and Nissa, there we go. And we'll take a look at the foil promo card later. Um, if you're not familiar, there is also a special secret code for coming to pre release. So, use this code to unlock one sealed event entry in Magic the Gathering Arena. Check that out. Having a lot of fun with that lately. I've been streaming on YouTube. You can see the replays of those videos in the live streams or the MTG Arena playlists on the channel. Alright, so let's get stuck into the first pack. Hope we have some good luck today. We start off with a Barging Sergeant, 10th District Guard, Leapfrog. Urban Utopia, Moodmark Painter, Demir Locket, Centaur Peacemaker, Darkblade Agent, Devious Cover Up, Erstwhile Trooper, and for the Uncommons we have Glaive of the Guild Pact, Crawl Swarm, Enhanced Surveillance, and the rare. It's a 4 4. No idea. It is a channel troll. Okay, so this guy is a creature troll. He looks rather trollish. If you ever see him in the comments section, you know this is just a troll. Ignore it. 4-4 four, four for 3 mana. Actually, this guy you might not want to ignore. He's a 4-4 four, four big dude. He has trample at the beginning of your upkeep exile, a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on channel troll. Otherwise, sacrifice it. So, better make sure you've got a well-stocked graveyard there. And for a swamp and a forest and discarding a creature card, put a plus one plus one counter on channel troll. So, he is basically feeding off of the graveyard. And if you do not feed him, he will die. I think that's a fun mechanic. And a Golgari Gilgate. And an Elf Knight token. Okay. I don't know that he is that fantastic due to his upkeep, but we shall see if we can do better in the next pack. Intrusive Pack Beast, Maximize Altitude, Barging Sergeant again, Severed Strands, Generous Stray, thank you sir, what has he brought us today? A Lizard, I'm sure that will make for good eating. Command the Storm. Mephitic Vapors, Luminous Bonds, Venardi Shieldmate, Piston for Cyclops, and for the Uncommons we have a Beam Splitter Mage. Has anyone seen this one in foil? I think that would look pretty nice, those lightning effects there. Price of Fame, Lot Left Giant, and there is a Ritual of Soot. This looks familiar. I had this, uh, this was my promo card in the pre-release when I played Demir. So, Sorcery for 4. Destroy all creatures with converted mana cost 3 or less. Very nice removal spell. With an Is it Gilgate and a Bird Illusion token. Okay, halfway through. Nothing crazy value yet, but still nice to see what we get in these packs. Next up we have Fire Urchin, Ledev Guardian, 
Disdainful Stroke, Wild Ceratoc, Child of Night, Wary Okapi, Dowser of Lights, Gateway Plaza, Dead Weight, and this is the usual time for a Ajani joke. If you've been watching the channel, you know what that's about. And for the uncommons, we have a Rock Charger. Flight of Equinauts, Grappling Sundu, and rare is Mission Briefing. Okay, that's a nice pull. Instant for two. Surveil two, then choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. And this Surveil mechanic, for instance, to Surveil two, look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard and rest on top of your library in any order. So basically scrying plus dumping into the graveyard if you want to. And a foil Selesnia Locket artifact for three. Adding either a forest or plains to your mana pool. And you can also get some card draw out of it by paying four of that combo, tap and sack it. So very nice foil there, Boros Skillgate and a goblin! We love the goblins, yes! Gotta work on that goblin deck soon. Should have a nice amount of goblins at this point. Let's take a look at this. We have Radical Idea. Ornery Goblin. Loxodon Restorer, Spinal Centipede, Vigor Spore Worm, Capture Sphere, Golgari Locket, Maniacal Rage. Hired Poisoner, Bernardi Shieldmate, and for our uncommons we have Chemist's Insight, Inspiring Unicorn, look at that magnificent creature, Street Riot, and there is a Bounty Agent, Creature, Human Soldier, 2-2 for 5 mana with Vigilance, Tap and Sack it, Destroy Target, Legendary Permanent, that's an Artifact Creature or Enchantment. Alrighty, that is a nice ability with an Izzet Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. Okay, last pack. Here it is. This is where we get the crazy pull. The I'm going to call the Assassin's Trophy. Or even, even one of the Planeswalkers I would settle for. That would be nice. But let's see. If we get hosed by Nyssa and Elspeth today, we have Maximize Altitude, Torch Courier, and there he is, he comes back in nearly every video, Hunted Witness, same with that guy, and same with this guy, Generous Stray, Severed Strands, Artful Takedown, and stop focusing on Nyssa over there, please, Samala Woodshaper, Devious Cover Up, Rhizome Lurcher, Fungus Zombie is a thing now, Sky Knight Legionnaire, and for the uncommons we have Crackling Drake, Might of the Masses. What is up with the focus today? Hello! There we go, Might of the Masses, Demir Spybug, and rare is a mythic! That's what we're looking for, an instant for three in the Boros Colors. Creatures you control gain indestructible. Take an extra turn after this one. At the beginning of that turn, turns end step, you lose the game. Oh, whoops. Okay, so... Yeah, you basically better be sure that you will win the game. It's like a chance for glory, as the card says. Has anyone pulled that off yet? That would be pretty cool to do that. Get a Demir Guildgate and a Soldier Token. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for. We pulled a Mythic, that's very nice, but what did we get here? We get a Venerated Loxodon. So let's take a look at this guy. Nice foil promo. And what does he do for us? He is a 4-4 four, four for 5 mana creature Elephant Cleric. Who knew that was a thing? 
He has Convoke, so that's a pretty cool ability. Your creatures can help cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting the spell pays for one, or one mana of that creature's colour. And when he enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that convoked it. So that is pretty nice. We'll put that in our foil pile here. We get a Selesnia Locket, Rock Charger, Flight of Equinauts. Arboretum Elemental, Sworn Companions, and you'll notice this pack is pretty much all green and white. So those are the Selesna colours there. So we've got a Hunted Witness, Venati Shieldmate, Siege Worm, and that does not necessarily mean you have to uh, build a deck in those colours. We should have some focus here. Um, you could also supplement that with what other stuff we pulled here. So we'll take a look in a moment. Hitchclaw Recluse, 10th District Guard, Pause for Reflection, Healer's Hawk, Rosemane Centaur, and a Selesnya Guildgate. These are very handy for your mana fixing. Alright, so let's take a look here. So we have this Boros one. So but again, this is sort of a risky card. I don't know if it's that good for pre-release because you can't necessarily build a nice combo to use it. We a bounty agent, so that seems good. Has some good removal. Mission briefing. That's another possibility. Splashing blue. Ritual of soot. Yeah, so we have some options for splashing here. And if you're not familiar, splashing, I'm just referring to adding like a third or fourth or, dare I say it, fifth colour. Who was crazy enough to do a five colour deck at pre-release and how did that work for you? Leave a note in the comments. So we get a Arboretum Elemental with Convoke and Hexproof. That seems strong. Flight of Equinauts. Flyers are kings at uh, pre-release. So take those guys. Get a Demir spy bug, not the colours we're after. Might of the masses, seems good. Inspiring unicorn, you gotta pick it just for the name alone. Grappling Sundry, Defender and Reach, that could be a good wall there. Flood of Equinauts, another flyer, another rock charger. Enhanced surveillance. Okay, so I'm still not really seeing anything that would compel me to add extra colours. Rosemane Centaur has Convoke, that's good. Healer's Hawk. Reach. Yeah, so we're getting some good stuff here. Lots of flyers. This Sky Knight Legionnaire has Flying and Haste. Maybe consider splashing for red. Uh, Rhizome Lurcher. Let's see here, Generous Stray. Yeah, card draw, that could be decent. Maximize Altitude. Ooh, Death Touch. Hired Poisoner. Maniacal Rage. So the, the main thing I would probably be doing is I would go through, look at how many creatures and spells I have in green and white and see what that, if there's any other stronger cards, like there were a couple, I think in the Boros colours, not that chance for glory, but a couple of others, um, we would then see, okay, for instance, something like this, Disdainful Stroke Counter Target Spell with Converted Mana Cross 4 or greater, that could be a good one, if we splash blue. So then you would go through and say, okay, do we need to um, add a few more cards here in a different colour? But then you've got to worry about the mana fixing. That's always a bit of a struggle if you go more than two colours. So this is why they're heavily pushing you towards two colours. You don't necessarily even have to do Selesnya if you get some other nice combo here. So blue and black, there could be some options. If you wanted to go Demir, Leapfrog. Yeah, so I'm, I'm probably, I would try to do Selesnya with this one, and if that didn't quite work, I would look at what other colours I had. So there are a couple of different options there, maybe splashing some red or black. 
Leave a note in the comments with what you would do, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Stay tuned, we have one more of these pre-release packs coming up tomorrow. That is Demir. Uh, that's actually the one that I did the pre-release with. That was a lot of fun, so I'm hoping we get some good pulls there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.